Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to the BF109E1. I told you I was going to do this. <laughs> this is actually an older video, but I thought now was the perfect time to share it. I talked about how you know the weather is kind of nasty out there. The the client stability is a little bit nasty. The the server client stability. And sometimes you just want to you just want to decompress and low tier very low tier <laughs> is often a good place to do that not just because you get that self-esteem boost of smashing some fools that's a little bit evil but the really good thing is that you can just enjoy a simpler game War Thunder gets so intense and so competitive outside of rank 2 and it can be incredibly fun to just play some of the meanest most powerful vehicles in the game against uh, just people that are just pressing W to win <laughs> and uh, you're also providing a valuable service what is that service well as we pick up a double kill <laughs> with the 250 kilo bomb always nice you are providing an example and a dream to beginners in this game. An example of a skilled gameplay, if you will, and a dream. You can be like that guy one day. <laughs> but more importantly, it's a vacation, and God knows human beings were designed to take a vacation every now and then and if you can't bear to stop playing the game well then by golly you can just relax for a bit and go back to where the love affair began and look at this enemy fighter coming in with maximum energy and inside of one turn we're turning inside of him as he sets his sights on our teammate i'm not exactly sure why i think that's a yak decided to jump to the second target maybe he assumed that he would have plenty of energy yep yak one to deal with us which is generally not a terrible assumption but this is the bf 109 e1 the thing is so lightweight and nimble and yet has the incredible climb rate and top speed capabilities that the BF-109s are famous for. This really feels like the racing plane that the 109s were based on. And you can see, oh, we're getting a little racy here with our <laughs> custom camouflage. This is actually one of my better looking uh, custom skins. I think it's a little bit tacky, but that's sort of the idea. And this is a weeb skin that I made for some person that I met online. And I said, hey, um, want me to make you a custom camo? And they were like, yeah, I cheese for this Vocaloid thing. So I was like, okay, let's make some cheese sauce. And we did. I really like how it turned out. And I think we even have colored gunfire with this one too. So that is I, I think i've mentioned this before Ooh, that's a low resolution buddy it's an old skin i tell you it's old but uh <laughs> that is one of the things that introduced me to this aircraft making a custom camel for it and i never would have played it otherwise and i've found the bf 109 e1 to be absolutely delightful no glaring weaknesses and strong in many many areas it really just does what you want it to do and you'd think that four machine guns is not enough firepower, and you'd be wrong. Uh, these can punch through even lightly armored targets on the ground at close range, and they have a nasty rate of fire and a truly ungodly amount of ammunition available. It's starting to feel like an American aircraft. <laughs> And with two firing through the propeller synchronized above the cowling and two in the wings, about halfway down the wing, if you will. Wing wing, hello. <laughs> German bias here. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really bad joke. But uh, you have a good spread on your fire as well. Those two that fire through the propeller are good for sniping pilots and hitting engines. And the wing mounted ones obviously are good in deflection shots or in hitting the wings or wing fuel tanks of your opponent. And because that fire is spread out nicely, 
it can be good for sniping at long range or raking across targets at very close or fairly long range depending upon your conversion you can see there's a huge amount of fire if not sheer volume because the bullets individually aren't all that poissant but they're very good for taking down open top spaa that you'll face fairly commonly at this tier where the american uh, 50 cal have an spaa and the soviet potato trucks as well as everybody else's truck with a gun on it a <laughs> model uh, is fairly common at this tier and that is a very nice start what is that four ground targets and a couple of aircraft and the match is not over yet. We're gonna go back to base, rearm, repair, refuel, and return to the fight that is still ongoing. The enemy team, having pushed up and regained enough ground to start bleeding out our victory bar. <laughs> I think about like a Snickers whenever I see that. It's a victory bar, would that be like a Snickers with some coconut and lots of peanuts? That sounds good, man. Sounds like a vacation to me. But we got the bomb back on and you may have noticed what's that sound <laughs> there's no kids in the house right now they're over at auntie amber's and they're having a blast brooklyn was taking a nap on the couch and she woke up and she's like i'm hungry my face hurts <laughs> and i was like uh well let me get you some food and then get your shoes on because we're gonna take you to auntie amber's house and then she was like no I just want Auntie Amber. <laughs> so, she just wanted to get to Auntie's house as soon as possible. She uh, she probably uh, ate plenty of food and lots of candy as soon as she got there. Because, I mean, girls need sweets. And I think Auntie Amber understands that. Anyway, there's more fun to be had in this match. And I, I really might just have to jump into the BF-109 e1 and what is it a 2-3 german lineup built around it it's just full of fun wacky vehicles you got your arado seaplane you've got the the 20 mil poomer uh, you've got all kinds of fun stuff we, did we ditch the bomb there that was a pretty poor bomb drop but eh whatever you live you learn you luftwaffe but how was your day Things have been pretty hectic around here, and you know it's a it's a dark time of the season. This is always when the emotional issues come up the most, and uh, things are just kind of dreary. There's craziness going on in other parts of the country that hopefully will have absolutely no effect on the little time capsule tiny town that I live in as is usually the case. I think we're just rounding the bend on the 60s and moving into the 80s here in Reed's Forb. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of weirdness going on. And again, people are kind of spent. They're poor after December. They're emotionally spent. The best time of the year is just behind and the darkest days are ahead and I just wanted you guys to know that I don't know I care so I'm busy with my kids I'm busy getting absorbed into video games I have like no audio notifications for anything because it kind of interferes with recording and just you know picking up on audio cues from the game but I will get around to noticing every single one of you guys' comments uh, that YouTube tells me about. And I'll also make it a point to read everything on the Discord. So if you want to chat, you can DM me, you can PM me, you can leave a comment. And uh, I don't know, sometimes it just feels nice to have somebody to talk to. That's one of the reasons that I talk to you guys in these videos. Even, even if... You know, I'm not talking to someone in particular. Now, there's that age-old answer that I used to give. Who are you talking to? Whoever will listen. <laughs> so I hope you're having a good time. And, and I know that everybody goes through their ups and their downs. And it's always nice to have a friend. And on that note, uh, amazing friends and mentors, AmFam Squadron in War Thunder, 
is always recruiting because we're a tiny squadron that doesn't really accomplish anything. Uh, not a whole lot of squadron research to be had, but we get some. I think I have 10,000 sitting around, and uh, we'll get those squadron vehicles eventually. <laughs> and Matt, just like this, definitely help with that. So if you want to apply in-game to AmFam, uh, my only goal is to just make us a squadron of kind people in the game and there's no other requirements just you know try to be nice to people like i said everybody has a bad day every now and then anyway that just about wraps it up for this match uh, we picked up almost a double ace in the bf 109 and picked off a lot of ground targets so we just pretty much went around the battlefield killing everything we see <laughs> and i guess I guess the match isn't quite over. Is that a, is that a buffalo? Can we take down a buffalo? We got a couple of hits on him. We got more ammunition. Crit. He's weebling. He's wobbling. Our shots are, uh, are not rendering. <laughs> and is he gonna go down? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful the way this thing does a vertical loop. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous plane. And he seems to be oh absorbing a lot of fire. And then the engine finally pops. That nice. Uh, Kaboomski animation that we see these days on an exploding engine really is satisfying and again this is one of those aircraft people talk about like the uh, the what is the Heinkel 200 something like that that just has incredible speed but this plane is really all that and a bag of chips, and it has one of the one of the most aesthetically pleasing weeb skins on the market. <laughs> it is a really low resolution skin, but it's based off the the default skin. So there's you know only only so much I can do. But you know at uh, 50 miles an hour or 50 feet away, it, it does look pretty sleek. And I like the the way everything is composed on there. I'm just, let me just pat myself on the back a little bit more. What is that? Uh, a hurricane? I think it's a hurricane. You got those fat wings and that skinny tail the way a hurry does. So he's not going to have the vertical energy retention that's needed to follow me in the vertical here. I can even throttle down a little bit to stay on his tail, which is exactly what I'm doing. You can see this aircraft just really responds well even with a small amount of fuselage damage in the hands of someone who knows how to tickle those controls oh so nicely critical hit and that does look like is that the uh, the special hurry that we got for the event i think it was e no regular hurricane well he's he is no more he is an ex pilot i tell you you know what i'm sure his pilot just walked away from that one he's fine no pixels are harmed in the making of this video Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, it has been nice uh, making a little connection with you guys today. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.